A little chilly out there. That's because our second cold front just came on through. So, Westsiders, you're feeling a little bit more of those winds moving on in. And as a matter of fact, tonight, we're sitting already below freezing out in East El Paso at the sour 30 degrees, 8 mile per hour winds. Here's how you can plan out the rest of your evening. Tonight, midnight, 34 degrees is where we expect to be. Then we'll continue to drop in temperatures 28 by 6 a.m., 33 by 10 a.m. We're talking about our next storm system coming up right after this. KTS. 9 News at 10 starts right now. Coming up with the drop in temperatures, we have some tips to help you get to your destination, destination state. Plus, a serious crash in East El Paso sending one person to the hospital with serious injuries. What we know about the investigation. And New Year, New Beginnings. We introduce you to the Borderlands First Babies of 2019. From the station putting local first, this is KTSM 9 News at 10. Well, it's getting really cold out there, and snow is expected to hit the borderland in the next few hours. I'm Tatiana Favela. Daniel and Natasia have the night off. We're under a weather authority alert as, winter, as a winter storm is heading our way, bringing cold temperatures and some snow. Our chief meteorologist, Monica Cortez, is tracking this storm, and she kicks off our team coverage. Good evening, Tatiana. Well, this storm system is taking its sweet time getting here, but it is expected to arrive tonight. So for El Paso, we expect to see some of the snow for tomorrow morning. Now, for today, we expect to see up to an inch of snow for El Paso, Las Cruces. And again, for Las Cruces, you get to see those chances of snow coming in a lot sooner than El Paso. We are also looking at below 28 degrees for your overnight lows for the next four nights. And so once all of this snow is over with, we expect to see some slick roads out there. And again, it's because of those below freezing temperatures and because of that frozen precipitation we're expecting here in El Paso and in Las Cruces. But of course, we'll be timing this out a a little later in this newscast. Speaking of some slick roads out there, we continue our team coverage here with those safety tips that you may want to keep in mind as you're heading on out, and that's where Cesar Vasquez is here to join us. Yeah, although it can be exciting to see some snow in your backyard, it might come with a hefty price if you don't prepare for when the mercury drops. The snow falls, then comes the aftermath. The melting snow can on the road can turn into black ice, which can be dangerous for drivers. Now, Texas has done what it can to get an early start on the cold weather. Earlier crews were out treating the roads with brine to help prevent wet roads from freezing. To give you an idea on how bad it can get, El Paso police say there were around 10 crashes reported last Friday into Saturday after the borderland had its first snowfall of the season. So try to stay indoors. If you can't, make sure to scrape the ice off your windshields and keep a good distance away from cars ahead of you. And remember the four P's. Protect your people, plants, pets, and those pipes. Make sure you're layered enough so you're not vulnerable to the cold. Bring in the potted plants indoors while the temperatures remain below freezing. Have your pets indoor, and if you can't, then try to provide a warm, enclosed shelter that is facing away from the wind. And plan ahead by wrapping your pipes and outdoor faucets that could freeze and possibly cause you a lot more in repairs. And as Monica said, we can expect to hit those below freezing temperatures as early as tonight with possible snow around 11 a.m. tomorrow. So plan accordingly. Live in the studio, Cesar Vasquez, KTSM 9 News. And up in Mescalero, New Mexico, the Red Cross is opening up a shelter due to heavy snow and a power outage. The shelter is located at the Mescalero community on the 107 Sun Loop. The shelter will have trained volunteers to help residents in need of food and water. And you can count on KTSM to keep an eye on the snow. Make sure you download the KTSM News app. It has live radar and it's free. A person thrown from a car during a morning crash in East El Paso. The crash happened near the Pebble Hills and Loop 375 South off-ramp. El Paso police say the driver of the car was ejected at the time of the crash, and that person was rushed to the hospital with life-threatening injuries. Special traffic investigators are handling the investigation. No word, no word yet on what caused the crash. And it's that time of year everyone is making their New Year's resolutions. Today, KTSM went to a local favorite cafe to see what people had planned for their New Year. A common New, new Year's resolution is people wanting to eat healthier, quit bad habits, and be more physically active. But that's easier said than done. Well, because the, the, this morning we needed the menudo. Unfortunately, my New Year's resolution was to eat healthy, so this is how I'm starting. <laughs> Not uh, drink too much. 
smoke too much. I will exercise every morning. <laughs> According to experts at Spectrum Health, Jorge's mind, mindset could actually be his key to success. They say to be easy on yourself and remember that change is a gradual process. Experts also say to find a way to celebrate is through small successes and milestones, but just don't go overboard. And speaking of resolutions, it may be time to hit the gym. We've all been there a few pounds heavier, af heavier after the extra holiday calories. And although calories are a good thing, Chris Rodriguez, a certified personal trainer at Gold's Gym, says the problem is when you overindulge. That's when you start to pack weight, which impacts your overall health. So if you've gained a few extra pounds over the holidays, Chris advises you to join a gym and develop work out habits. But if you're not ready to join the workout scene just yet, you can start at home with just the basics. Eventually, you will achieve your goal through the compound effect, um, opposed to just going all out and giving big spurts and you overexhaust yourself and then you stay out of the gym. <laughs> Whatever style suits your needs, Chris encourages you to remember to feed your soul and eat your favorite meals from time to time. As long as you practice moderation and slowly but surely, you'll achieve your weight loss goal and develop healthy eating habits. And meet the first El Paso baby born in 2019. This is Javier Alexander Reyes. He was born at 1.31 this morning at the hospitals of Providence East Campus. Javier entered this world weighing in at 7 pounds, 12 ounces, and measuring 20.3 inches. Both mom and baby are healthy. And one of the most popular shows you can watch here on NBC is getting, to, is getting ready to shoot its next season, and you might see a glimpse of the Sun City. American Ninja Warrior requires a lot of endurance, agility, and you've got to be prepared in case you fall into the water. You'll find local photographer Bernie Maese doing some training that is out of the norm. And that action-packed show challenges competitors to go through insane obstacle courses, testing their bodies. There are qualifying rounds that can get you into the national finals in Vegas. So this won't be his first time. Bernie has competed three times before, but it doesn't mean he's automatically in for this upcoming season. He knows training for it is no easy task. The hardest, uh, the hardest thing is actually uh, muscle endurance um, because uh, when you're carrying your whole entire body weight, your muscles will start really cramping up. You'll get serious calluses and blisters all over your hands. So whenever you talk to any Ninja Warrior athlete, look at their hands and they're like beat up like crazy. And if being on TV isn't enough of an incentive to get in, the winner gets a grand prize of $1 million. The deadline to apply for American Ninja Warrior is tomorrow. An unexpected meeting is expected to happen tomorrow at the White House. President Trump reportedly has invited congressional leaders for a briefing by Homeland Security. House Democrats are threatening to vote Thursday on bills to reopen the government without any new money for the president. For the President Trump's border wall, 800,000 federal workers are still not getting paychecks as the stalemate continues. A meeting with House and Senate leaders at the White House planned for Wednesday, along with a briefing by Homeland Security. The first time Democrats have gone to the White House since the partial government shutdown began. Still, the president is keeping up his attacks. It's proven the Democrats do not care about open borders and all of the crime and drugs that open borders bring, he tweeted. House Democrats, as they take control Thursday, plan to vote to reopen the government with no new money for the president's border wall. Some believe the president is losing his bargaining power the longer this drags on. He also could have had the border security before this. He also could have had more money. Now Democrats are putting less money on the table because the president does not have the leverage anymore. The House will then punt the political football to the Senate, where the president has been unable to convince Democratic leader Chuck Schumer America needs the wall. The only thing that matters is what leader Schumer and President Trump can agree to. 800,000 federal workers now in the middle of the stalemate are still going without paychecks. Most national parks remain closed. The Smithsonian Museums, including the National Zoo, will be forced to shut their doors Wednesday. I'm so happy I came just in time to get to see everything because it would have been heartbreaking to travel from so far and not be able to see all this incredible history of this country. Just in time before it closes in a city that's been shut down for more than a week and a half. The votes to reopen the government Thursday will put more pressure on the president, but so far he's still demanding billions for his border wall. Jennifer Johnson, NBC News, Washington.
Coming up, a growing industry in Texas won't be billing services to its customers. We'll tell you why. Then taking a look at the biggest names ever to guest star on one hit show throughout its nearly 30-year history. And we're still expecting to start off 2019 with a little bit of snow in our forecast here for the Borderland area. I'll tell you exactly when we can expect to see the storm system arriving in El Paso. Thanks for watching KTSM 9 News at 10. You're watching KTSM 9 News at 10 with Daniel Marie, Natasha Paloma, Chief Meteorologist Monica Cortez, and Sports with Andy Morgan. If you have a news story, call our hotline now, 915-533-KTSM. Reach us via social media or email us at news at ktsm.com. Follow KTSM 9 News on Instagram, putting local first. The holiday season is in full gear, and so is Happy Honda Days at El Paso Honda. Drive away in a new 2018 Accord Sports for $249 a month. Don't wait until the last minute. Visit us and unwrap your new Honda from El Paso Honda. In 2016 alone, 2.9 million U.S. workers were injured on the job. Construction, transportation, manufacturing, oil and gas, and agriculture were among the most dangerous industries for workplace accidents. If you were injured in a workplace accident, call Thomas J. Henry. Thomas J. Henry handles serious workplace cases and gets serious results for injured clients. Call today. Thomas J. Henry is available 24-7, nights and weekends. I got a new car at Charlie Clark Nissan, and they lowered my payment. Sun City. Alisa paid zero down and lowered her payment. Are you next? During our year-end challenge, 2018 sales goals are close. 250 vehicles sold with our lowest prices of the year. New 2019 Sentras. Zero down, just $259 a month. New Rogue Sport S. Zero down, just $279 a month. Plus, every new Nissan purchase comes with oil changes for life. Charlie Clark Nissan. Been on your feet 12 plus hours a day, nothing would get rid of the pain. I just couldn't believe that putting these art supports in made that much of a difference that quickly. Good feet just took that pain away, and I haven't gone a, a day without them since. Every oil company's got a safety manual, and every one of them says safety first. But out in the field, time is money, and it's hurry, 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 and it's the workers who get hurt. Bad accidents happen on all field locations. When a major accident happens, you want to be able to preserve the evidence. If you hire a lawyer for an oil field accident, you want the lawyer who's done it a hundred times. Clients never have to pay us out of their pocket. They don't owe us anything unless we win. I'm Daniel Marine, and our team is dedicated to reporting on the news that directly affects our home. Choose KTSM 9 News, putting local first. The holiday season is in full gear, and so is Happy Honda Days at El Paso Honda. Save big on a new 2018 CRV LX for $229 a month. Don't wait until the last minute. Visit us and unwrap your new Honda from El Paso Honda. Although it's a growing industry in Texas, freestanding emergency centers can't bill services to Medicare or Medicaid. That means Medicare or Medicaid patients are either left with the bill or the facility doesn't get reimbursed. Right now, there's a bill in Congress hoping to change that. The Emergency Care Improvement Act would provide facilities with Medicare and Medicaid recognition. What it will do is uh, provide, you know, a, a reimbursement and so facilities like ours can continue to grow and kind of be in more rural areas provide more service and the you know high level quality care we can freestanding emergency centers would also need to follow federal regulations for emergency care and have a quality assessment program in place and one secret to becoming an A-list star, A star, just make an appearance on one of NBC's Law & Order shows. Mike Wilbur takes a look at the biggest names to ever guest star on the hit show throughout its nearly 30-year history. Sierra is dead? I'll allow the additional charge. No! How does the defendant plead? Obviously not guilty. Before she was a mom in real life, Hillary Duff played one suspected of murder. In 2005, Bradley Cooper suited up to play a defense lawyer. What can I do for the NYPD? Tell us where you were last night. No more exciting, that's for sure. He was a different person when he was high. He's been clean for 16 years, but you don't care about that, do you?
That's Zoe Saldana getting emotional as the daughter of a drug addict wrongly accused of murder. While Jennifer Love Hewitt showcased her acting chops as a repeat victim. Oh, it's a, it's a mistake. Julie, you need a rape kit. There could be evidence on you that can help us find the guy who is. have to get home. Modern Family, Sarah Hyland has guest starred on the NBC franchise a few times, including this dramatic turn as a student willing to go to deadly lengths to impress her parents. It's about the competition being the best. There is no second place. Julia Roberts even guest starred in the 1999 episode playing a woman involved in a murder investigation. Fun fact, she got to seduce her then real life boyfriend, Benjamin Bratt, in the episode. Country star Miranda Lambert made her acting debut on an episode of SVU, playing an actress assaulted by a reality TV producer. Are you okay? Did you want this to happen? No. I'm so dizzy. And Serena Williams swapped the tennis court for a basketball court to take on a dramatic role. Did you talk to him after he put your video on the internet? I asked him to take it off. I lost my scholarship if Coach saw it. And Monica's got your forecast up next. That's right, I'm tracking our next winter storm system. I'll say exactly when we expect it to arrive and how long this is all going to last. It's coming up right after this break. Thanks for watching KTSM 9 News at 10. Kennedy Law Firm. Injured in an accident? Call 544-5200. The Big Game Bound, exclusively on KTSM.com. Get weekly content with a countdown to kickoff. Enjoy a gallery of images from key games and featured stories on all things leading up to the big game. The Big Game Bound, exclusively on KTSM.com. It's the biggest and best sales event of the year. Toyota Thon is on at Post Toyota. Drive a 2018 Camry LE for $249 a month or save big with 1.9% APR for 60 months. It's your last chance to get our biggest savings of the year only at Post Toyota. Go inside the state capitol every week with State of Texas. Exclusive one-on-one -on -one interviews with state leaders. We believe in common sense conservative principles. And, and that's who Texas is. Insider access as laws are passed. And I'm here with Governor Greg Abbott. Thanks for joining us. Sure, of course. Thank you. And in-depth stories revealing the politics shaping our state. The leading defining immigrant experience is the Texas experience. State of Texas. Look at you. You're at the top of your game. You're unstoppable. Nothing can throw you off track. Wait, is that your car? Uh-oh. Yeah, I saw that coming. That will throw you off track. You're looking at around 10 grand in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. Let's try this again. Smart move. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Philly, El Paso Puzzler Champion. Are you ready to race me? Casa Nissan and the Borderland Mountain Bike Association invite you to the 12th Annual Puzzler Race, January 20th at the Bone Ranch Roundhouse in the beautiful Franklin Mountains. An epic and tough course that includes two long climbs, Mondays and Northern Pass. For more info, log in to ElPasoPuzzler.com. Ride like a champ. Get the new Nissan Titan with a five-year, 100,000-mile bumper up a warranty for $3.99 a month. And it's bike rack ready. Casa Nissan, where Montana and Paisano and the Puzzler collide. Cowboys fans, listen up. This is your chance to get inside information on America's team. Just ask Mickey. Cowboys insider Mickey Spagnola will join me every Tuesday taking us inside the Star in Frisco for exclusive access you won't get anywhere else. To ask Mickey a question, just use the hashtag AskMickey. You'll get an answer straight from the source. Silver Star Nation Interactive every Tuesday at 2 p.m. only on KTSM.com, sponsored by Viva Auto Group. It's the biggest and best sales event of the year. Toyota Thon is on at Post Toyota. Drive a 2018 Corolla LE for $99 a month or save big with 1.9% APR for 60 months. It's your last chance to get our biggest savings of the year only at Post Toyota.
stepped outside to for dinner, I was uncomfortably freezing. I live in the west side as well, but it's just, yeah, I don't like the cold at no, all. No, I don't fan. either. And that cold front just came in, so that's not making matters any better at all. As a matter of fact, we're going to continue to get colder as the night progresses. Right now, what we're doing is we're tracking this winter storm system that is expected to move into our area overnight into tomorrow morning. Now, don't expect any snow for El Paso tonight. We should be staying on the drier side of things. Much of the area is already starting to see parts, well, parts of the borderland area are starting to see some of that snow, for example, up in Silver City, parts of Truth or Consequences, and it'll slow, slowly move over into Ridoso and Cloudcroft later on tonight into tomorrow morning. Las Cruces, you could be seeing some of the snow as early as the overnight hours, waking up into Wednesday morning. We don't get to see that until later on Wednesday morning, but I'll get to all of that in just a second. 49 degrees in El Paso, 51 out of Las Cruces, 53 out in Deming. Those were your official highs. Right now, it's actually really cold out there. We are below freezing at this hour. 30 degrees out in El Paso. This is not taking into consideration the winds that are moving on through. So mix in a little bit of that breeze and it feels a lot colder than 30 degrees right now in El Paso. 32 in Las Cruces. 30 out in Deming. So for tonight, we're actually expecting to dip to about 28 degrees. But like I said, we are going to feel a lot colder than that as we continue to see these winds picking up about 25 miles per hour is what we expect to see tonight into tomorrow morning. So a very chilly start to this 2019. 26 degrees out in Las Cruces, up to 15 mile per hour wind. So much of the country actually is staying rather calm, but once we move down towards the south, you begin to see all this weather action, you can say, taking place. So here in El Paso and much of the desert southwest, we're starting to see some of this winter storm really beginning to impact us. We do expect to see a little bit of that snow coming into El Paso later on tomorrow morning, but icy conditions are going to be the biggest threat, especially if you're going to be traveling out east, or maybe somebody is coming in to visit you out into the El Paso area. Again, icy conditions. This is the Texas Panhandle out into far west Texas. So for tomorrow, 38 degrees, your forecast high. That's as warm as we're going to get. So it's going to be a very cold afternoon tomorrow. 34 degrees out in Las Cruces. 40% chance of snow for both El Paso and Las Cruces tomorrow morning into the afternoon hours. Now, once we start dealing with the snow, we do expect it to arrive around 11 o'clock for El Paso tomorrow morning, lasting till about 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Then we begin to dry out. But look at those overnight lows. 26 degrees, your forecast overnight low for El Paso tonight or Wednesday night into Thursday morning. And then we'll slowly begin to see a little bit of a warm up here. Warmer temperatures Sunday into much of next week with rain chances moving in Sunday and Monday. Selena? Well, it's definitely cold outside, and that winter storm system is going to be great for pictures. 2018 was filled with some of the most eventful weather around the nation. El Paso may not have experienced certain conditions that others around the country did, but the borderland did receive some weather events that called for some of the best weather pictures of the year. From freezes to, to start off the ring of the new year and spring, Dust storms that made it hard to see while driving and the most beautiful scenic summer sunrises and sunsets that, gave, that our region gave us. So many of our, nine, our KTSM 9 viewers shared with us some of the best photos they snapped through the year. That shows exactly what El Paso's weather is capable of. Our monsoon season brought us thunderstorms that didn't just bring rain, but the chances to capture the best lightning shots. And we've seen hailstorms that made the area look like winter, like a winter wonderland in May until we actually got one towards the end of the year. If you'd like to see if any of your moments made El Paso's best, best weather pictures of 2018, you can visit our website at ktsm.com. And don't forget, if you have any weather pictures you'd like to share with us, you can email them to us at news at ktsm.com. Thank you, Selena. Well, it's definitely getting colder outside, but right. elsewhere. Yeah, college basketball starting to heat up. And when you got you conferences go. like Conference USA and WAG, conference play is when it counts. Got a preview of games, plus it's the uh, play that college football is still talking about. And it came from Monday's Hyundai Sun Bowl game. How is this a touchdown? You'll have to stick around for sports to find out. ATSM 9 News, your local weather authority.
Where are you going for a great used car or truck? At Rudolph Chevrolet, you'll find a big selection, low prices starting at $59.95, financing as low as 3.9%, and at Rudolph Chevrolet, we buy cars. Rudolph Chevrolet, we're at I-10 and Red Road. Cowboys fans, listen up. This is your chance to get inside information on America's team. Just ask Mickey. Cowboys insider Mickey Spagnola will join me every Tuesday taking us inside the Star in Frisco for exclusive access you won't get anywhere else. To ask Mickey a question, just use the hashtag AskMickey. You'll get an answer straight from the source. Silver Star Nation Interactive every Tuesday at 2 p.m. only on KTSM.com, sponsored by Viva Auto Group. Putting local first, it's not just a slogan, it's putting in the work and getting down to what directly affects our home. I'm Daniel Marine, and I'm part of a dedicated team of journalists who go beyond face value. We take the extra step to give you a unique perspective you're not going to see anywhere else. So when it comes to your money, your schools, your family, choose KTSM 9 News, putting local first. Every year before this countdown, there's this countdown. The final days of the Ford Holiday Sales Event at your Texas Ford dealers. Hurry in before January 2nd for the best savings of the year on every 2018 model in stock. Now that's worthy of one of these. The countdown before the countdown is on now. Get 0 for 66 plus 32.50 total savings and expedition and no payments for 90 days. But hurry, it all ends January 2nd. Get to your best in Texas Ford dealer today. Putting local first, it's not just covering sports highlights or scores, it's digging deeper and producing award-winning local stories that make a difference in our community. I'm Andy Morgan, and I'm part of a dedicated team of journalists that take your average local story, focus it, and deliver the details that benefit our home. So when it comes to our young local athletes or our pros in the big leagues, thanks for choosing KTSM 9 News, putting local first. If you have been seriously injured or lost a family member due to an accident in Texas or New Mexico, call an attorney who will fight for you and your family. Call my dad. James Kennedy represents people injured in trucking accidents, refinery accidents, and all types of accidents in Texas, New Mexico, Colorado, Nevada, and Arizona. I represent injured people and people who've lost family members due to accidents because I want to make a difference in this world. Let my law firm help you in your time of need. Need a truck or van for your business? At Rudolph Chevrolet, we stock all kinds of work trucks, pickups, vans, stake beds, flatbeds, box trucks, delivery trucks, and even service bodies. For your next business truck, come to Rudolph Chevrolet. We're at I-10 and Red Road. And now, KTSM Night Sports with Andy Morgan. Sponsored by Glasheen Bias and Enderman Injury Lawyers. A new year can only mean one thing. College basketball is about to heat up real quick. UTEP played just five games in the month of December. The Miners will play nearly double that in January as conference play begins on Thursday night in San Antonio. Miners spending the holiday on the practice floor today. They're prepping hard for UTSA and it's pretty much double the preparation because UTEP gets UTSA twice in three days. We detailed it when the schedule first came out and now it's here. It's unusual to begin conference like this, but nevertheless, January is go time for this group. January is a grind. It's a grind and the conference play. Everybody's going to be very familiar with everyone. We've gotten a chance to see everybody in non-conference play. So, you know, you kind of you are who you are this time of year right now. We have uh, great enthusiasm, great energy, great, you know, great focus. I mean, we're young, but, you know, that doesn't stop us from getting better every day. And, uh, you know, the sky's the limit. We're, we're, we're trying to compete for a conference championship. 6 p.m. tip-off in San Antonio on Thursday night. 7 o'clock start on Saturday at the Don Haskins Center. Miners looking to get off to a fast start. And speaking of conference championships, that's the norm in Las Cruces. New Mexico State owns the WAC and the rest of the conference. They know it. NMSU off to another great start this season, going 11-3 in non-conference play with series sweeps over UTEP, New Mexico, and then as well a, a couple wins over Washington State. How about that? The Aggies get Cal Baptist on Thursday to open conference. 8 p.m. start in Riverside. Well, for the 85th time, the Hyundai Sun Bowl did not disappoint from all the festivities leading up to kickoff and 
the game itself, it was another successful year in what has become the second oldest bowl game in all of college football. And 24 hours later, college football is still, still talking about this play right here at the end of the game. It came in the fourth quarter with Pitt leading 13-7. KJ Costello coughing up the football, and Cameron Scarlett was just in the right place at the right time. As you can imagine, both teams had very different thoughts on how this game was decided. We had a, a stunt call. Dwayne uh, bottled up the quarterback, got a good hit on him. And they got lucky. That's what I'm going to call it. And they caught a ball. That was a fumble. They didn't do anything on that play. That's what it is. Yeah, we, it was just like we drew it up. You know, and I, just, uh, I was just fortunate enough to carry out the fake and look back, and the ball was just right there in my hands. Stanford feeling pretty fortunate that that's the way the game ended because Pitt outplayed them the majority of the game. Nonetheless, Cardinal win their second Sun Bowl in three years. A full slate of bowl games today. It's a New Year's Day tradition after all. We begin with Washington and Ohio State in the 105th Rose Bowl game. It's the only bowl game older than the Sun Bowl. Buckeyes started fast behind Dwayne Haskins. Touchdown tosses to Paris Campbell as well as Johnny Dixon. Ohio State wins the Rose Bowl in Urban Meyer's final game as a coach. 28-23 the final. Texas taking on Georgia in the Sugar Bowl tonight. This game was all about Longhorns quarterback Sam Ellinger. Here he is calling his own number in the first quarter. Touchdown run gave Texas an early lead. And in the second quarter, he's able to elude the rush. And then he uh, gets in to the end zone for a second time on his feet. It pays when you have a quarterback that can improvise, and that's what you got in Ellinger. Texas pulls off the upset 28-21. Elsewhere, Kentucky and Iowa both scoring wins today. And then just down the road in Glendale, Arizona, also with a uh, win. But we're going to talk about the uh, Winter Classic. Uh, this game being played at Notre Dame and the Bruins taking on the Blackhawks. This is as good a tradition as it gets in the NHL. And it was the Bruins getting the win. Sean Corrali, the game winner in the third period. Cleaning up the mess off the rebound. 4-2 to two the final. And in case you're wondering, next year's Winter Classic will be played at the Cotton Bowl in Dallas. We'll be back after this. Visit KTSM.com, putting local first. Don't miss the Tequila and Margarita Festival at Sullen Park Racetrack and Casino. Saturday, January 19th, admission is free. Enjoy live music while sampling premium tequilas and flavored margaritas. It's all happening at the park. Hi, I'm me. And that's me 30 days ago before I switched to Spectrum. With Spectrum TV, I get tons of HD and thousands of titles free on demand. With satellite, I have to have special equipment to watch on demand, plus that dish on my roof. Get Spectrum TV and Internet from $89.98 a month. Call 833-271-8998. Spectrum Internet has speeds of 100 megabits, so I can surf, my wife can stream, and the kids can game all at once. Our Internet can't keep up with all our devices, so I schedule all of our online time. I get every other Tuesday. Get Spectrum TV and Internet from $89.98 a month. Best of all, Spectrum bought out my old contract, making it easy to switch. Wait, what? Will they do that for me? Yeah. Because I'm you. 30 days from now. Get Spectrum TV and Internet from $89.98 a month. Plus, ask how you can save up to 40% on your wireless bill with Spectrum Mobile. Better services at a better price. Call 833-271-8998. Happy Holidays. I'm Jerry Slaughter with Mission Chevrolet. The holiday season is finally upon us, and that means year-end closeouts and the bigger discounts are finally here. At Mission Chevrolet, we're going to have super sweet deals on our entire Chevrolet lineup. Silverados, Tahoes, Camaros, Malibus, and much, much more. Come out and see us and shop 15 acres of bowtie beauties. And remember, shop Mission Chevrolet, where it's all about you. The attorneys of Glasheen, Baez, and Enderman have recovered millions of dollars for clients with serious injuries across Texas and New Mexico. If you've been seriously injured, call Glasheen, Baez, and Enderman now. Go, go, go! Let's go! Join us at Sunland Park Racetrack and Casino for all the excitement of live horse racing every Tuesday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It's all happening at the park. Go, go, go! Let's go! 
Well, earlier we had a story uh, with Jalisco's Cafe that was giving out free menudo, which would be perfect right now with these below freezing temperatures, right? It definitely would. But Andy, you say you're not much of a menudo guy. You're more of a... I like menudo, but pozole. Pozole. pozole gets the top notch mm, for me. I love pozole too. The now green pozole. Oh, me too. <laughs> and you know what? Yeah, it's great day for a soup. Even tomorrow, you are going to be looking at 38 degrees. Now, that's as warm as you're going to get tomorrow. Snow is in the forecast. We're not expecting to see a lot of snow moving on through for El Paso, a little bit more out in Las Cruces. But again, this storm system, very slow moving into our area. We do expect it to arrive tomorrow morning into the afternoon hours. Then we'll pretty much dry out into Thursday. Well, looks good to me. Thank you guys for joining us. Have a happy new year, and we'll see you back tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. Sponsored by Lachine Vias and Enderman Injury Lawyers.